morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm wimpy, chuckalicious Chuck Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that 56% of Americans eat a hamburger at least once a week, sometimes twice a week for me? So it's only fitting that we pay tribute to this iconic staple of American cuisine every May during National Burger Month. Just in time for National Burger Month, we're here now to share some fun hamburger trends. Uh, is Brian Sullivan. He's the executive chef and vice president of culinary and beverage innovations at Red Robin. Chef Sullivan, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and good morning. Ch chef, let me ask this. Why do you think the hamburger is the most popular sandwich in America today? Well, look, hamburgers have been part of the American culture for nearly 100 years. And I believe that it's burgers are a comfort food. Uh, they bring people together. They're fun to eat. And they're delicious. You can get so creative with them, too. Um, what, are, what are some of the latest trends uh, surrounding this, the, the burger? Well, right now, the two trends that I'm focused on is cheesy and spicy. Uh -oh. So everything cheesy. <laughs> and cheese, <laughs> oh, we have cheese fans. You, you love cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like said, yeah so, I, go ahead, Doc. Uh, go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, so I was going to say anything cheese, right? So whether you're taking a burger and you're dipping it in fondue sauce or you're eating a burger that has cheese cascaded over the top, or whether it's a Parmesan and cheddar crisp that is uh, cooked on a flat top and uses one of the layers on the burger. This is, this is so cruel. I get up I at 3.30 every morning. You're and about out of I here. I see this picture. I've been like, I want a hamburger. Yeah, we got that <laughs> right. today. I want a bad band right now. Uh, Rye Robin is going to develop some really new, great, great gourmet burgers. Tell us a little bit about those, Chef. Sure. Well, we have an incredible lava queso burger that we just rolled out. And this burger is covered with poblano onions that are fire grilled, caramelized onions, chipotle mayo, fresh tomatoes. And then we top that table side with our amazing queso fundido and a little bit of cilantro. And it just cascades over the burger, super decadent. And this it's definitely a knife and fork burger. Mm. And also our mad love that we just reintroduced it's a, it's a crowd favorite. Our Mad Love is layered with 10 different ingredients, two different cheeses, uh, Jack and Swiss, avocado that we smash in house, candy bacon, lettuce, tomato, and onions. And this one is a fan favorite. It seems to me as though we're elevating the hamburger from, oh, well, let's have a hamburger to gourmet status. Is this what we're all about here? That's it. It's Red Robin Gourmet Burgers. So, you know, I, I, I love a, a simple cheeseburger too, but we can't just eat cheeseburgers all the time, right? We have to kind of mix it up a little bit and get creative. And that's the beautiful thing about burgers. The buns are a canvas, so we can really, there's no limit. The only limit really would be our imagination. I, I'm not a hot guy. Uh, you know, I, I'm not for the, the hot food, but just more traditional. What, what's the most popular burger you think Red Robin had? So bacon cheeseburger is the most popular. Everybody loves bacon. Also barbecue sauce, crispy onion straws, um, avocado and mushroom are some of the other favorites that people really tend to gravitate towards. I'm out. I see yeah, I'll see. I'll take over. <laughs> you get it fixed. Uh, oh, man. You <laughs> well, me here. This may not be uh, something that's on your menu, but just in your experience, what has been the most, let's say, what we would think of as unusual um, item to add to a burger that you've seen? Well, some of the things I played with, which I really enjoy, uh, and unfortunately didn't resonate with our guests, pork belly on a burger is really good, like seared pork belly. Also, uh, yeah. Brie cheese and fig compost, some of those items we played with, they didn't resonate too much. They taste great, but it's a really kind of limited uh, appeal. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'd go for it. Yeah, yeah I'd do it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. A fig compote and yeah. So, Chef, 
burger. Yeah. That was good burger. <laughs> chef. Well, chef uh, go ahead, Chuck. Yeah. Chef, what you're telling me is I can do my own thing with what I want to do it with as far as hamburgers are concerned. 100%. 100%. Hey, you just take whatever your favorite items are, whether they're spicy or cheesy, or maybe you like global flavors. All of those um, items can work on a burger. Yeah. Just do what you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yours. It's it. And uh, Red Robin is going to kick off today with uh, uh, National Hamburger Month. And uh, man. They're going to have a lot of great things. So, yeah. We all know what we're having today. You know we're having lunch today. It's already been sealed. Chef, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It's been my pleasure, and uh, we can't wait to see everybody at uh, Red Robin in May or, you know, come. Hopefully you're coming today, but please uh, visit us at redrobin.com to find all of our locations. So, thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. It, uh, it's Hamburger Month. May you can start today. Right, make might it happen. Well. Might as well get. I got to get practice. I got to get in shape yeah. for it. So for the big month of May, training. Redrobin.com is the place you need to go.